class activity two, convert the following discrete time transfer function into state space representation where the output is x1 of k. So the first thing we do is we FOIL the denominator. So g of z is equal to 0 0.5 over z minus 0 0.5 times z minus 0 0.9. That becomes 0 0.5 over z squared minus 1.4z plus 0 0.45 which is equal to the output y of z over the input u of z. So if I cross multiply, I get z squared y of z minus 1.4z y of z plus 0.45 y of z, which equals 0.5 u of z. So now if I take the inverse z transform and convert this to the k domain, or the discrete time domain, I get y of k plus 2 minus 1.4 times y of k plus 1 plus 0 0.45 y of k equals 0 0.5 u of k. So now I will have that x1 of k is equal to y of k which is my output, and x2 of k is equal to y of k plus 1. So now if I delay these, I get x1 of k plus 1 equals y of k plus 1, which equals x2 of k, and x2 of k plus 1 is equal to y of k plus 2, which equals 1.4 y of k plus 1 minus 0 0.45 y of k plus 0 0.5 u of k. Next we're going to do the state substitution, so y of k plus 1 is 1.4 x2 of k minus 0 0.45 x1 of k plus 0 0.5 u of k. And finally, we're going to write the answer in matrix form. So here we have an 2 by 1 matrix where the first element is x1 of k plus 1. The second element is x2 of k plus 1. And that equals the 2 by 2 G matrix 0, 1, negative 0 0.45, 1.4 times x1 of k, x2 of k, plus the 2 by 1 matrix, which is our H matrix, 0, 0 0.5, U of k. And our output, Y of k, is equal to 1, 0 times x1 of k, x2 of k. In class activity three, compute g to the k, the eigenvalue of g, and the equivalent transfer function for the system described by the following state variable model. x of k plus one is equal to 0 0.10, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, x of k plus one zero u of k, and y of k equals zero one x of k. So the first thing we're going to do is to find zi minus g. Zi minus G is equal to 0, 0, Z0, 0, 0, Z minus 0 0.1, 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, which equals Z minus 0 0.1, 0, negative 0 0.2, Z minus 0 0.3. So then we find phi of Z, which is the inverse of zi minus g, which equals 1 over z minus 0 0.1 times z minus 0 0.3 times the 2 by 2 matrix where you swap the first and fourth elements and you negate the second and third elements. So you're going to have z minus 0 0.3, 0, 0 0.2, z minus 0 0.3. 
So then you find the adjoint of the two by two matrix, which is Z minus 0 0.3, 0, 0 0.2, Z minus 0 0.1, which can be written as one over Z minus 0 0.1, 0, 0 0.2, over the product z minus 0 0.1 times z minus 0 0.3 and 1 over z minus 0 0.3. So then you have the poles or eigenvalues of g, which are the roots of the characteristic equation. So the poles or the eigenvalues of g are 0 0.1 and 0 0.3. Next we're going to find phi to the k, g to the k. Phi of k is equal to g to the k, which equals the inverse z transform of zi minus g inverse. And when you find that inverse z transform, you get 0 0.1 to the k minus one, u of k minus one, zero, 0 0.1 to the k minus one minus 0 0.3 to the k minus one, u of k minus one. And then the last element is 0 0.3 to the k minus one, u of k minus one. Finally, let's find the transfer function. GP of Z is equal to C times ZI minus G inverse H or C phi of Z H. So this equals zero one times one over Z minus 0 0.1 0, 0 0.2 over z minus 0 0.1 times z minus 0 0.3 and 1 over z minus 0 0.3 times h, which is 1, 0. So this equals 0, 1 times 1 over z minus 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 over the product z minus 0 0.1 times z minus 0 0.3. And finally, you get your transfer function, which is 0 0.2 over z minus 0 0.1 times z minus 0 0.3. And this concludes today's introduction to state space representation and transfer functions in the discrete time.